I didn't do anything on this yesterday as it was um, really cold and it rained the whole day. It actually, um, we had a bit of snow on the surrounding mountains as well. Um, and with the Smooth On um, product that I'm using, um, I need um, relatively dry and, and warm conditions. So I've got the heaters going in my, in my workshop, I've got the doors closed. Um, so yeah, hoping to get the temperature up a little bit. Um, I just want to, there, there's a couple of things I need to do. I need to build up that bottom corner a little bit and then just um, also seal the, um, these concrete areas because otherwise the, the uh, rubber will obviously stick to that. Um, and then we should be good to go with, um, with some silicone work. Okay, uh, now I just want to build up um, this collar over here a little bit. Um, I found some 16 um, mil chip um, that will work absolutely perfectly. Um, so, um, and then um, I've got to build up that area. Fortunately, um, they're not going to be casting this collar, um, seeing that it's in concrete, it's just not strong enough. Um, but I do, when, when, I, when I apply the silicone, I do want a nice wide, um, wide strip of silicone because that will help to anchor the, the mold inside the, the backing mold. Um, so I'm just going to um, do that quickly. Um, and then I'm just going to anchor, just tape all of this together with um, brown packing tape. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Okay, um, in the meantime I've cut a little filler um, that will go in there and I'm just, there we go. Okay, that's perfect. Um, oh, I just want to get the tape. Tape this up. Um, to cover most of the the gaps. up with some plasticine.
Okay, um, this is all done. Now the last thing I want to do, this rusted area, um, there is still some concrete um, left over in the little nooks and crannies. So I'm just going to give this a, a coat of um, gram wax. Um, it can always be sandblasted off um, before repainting. Um, so um, just to just work that into one of the areas. And then while I'm at it, I'll just give this a, a light the, the color, a light coat of wax as well. And then the last thing I need to do, this, this upper section, I'm just going to give it a, a good coat of this um, East Release 200. <coughs> just to make sure um, that... Um, the silicone releases um, properly uh, once it's all set and come to think of it I must actually wear a mask for this okay um, I've just um, mixed up a batch of the uh, brush on 40 um, the nice thing is that um, you mix it up um, by volume so um, I've got two containers that it, that's exactly the same size um, weigh out the uh, part A, weigh out part B and then uh, just mix it up and then you just use one of these cheap um, laminating brushes and apply the material um, to the sculpture. Okay, I've just um, I've covered the entire thing, um, and I've now just made a slightly smaller batch of material um, so um, now I'm just going to um, do the first layer on the on the logo course um, this has got a lot more detail so um, it has to be a little bit more careful um, really work the material into into the detail Okay, I've got two coats of um, silicone on here now, and you can see this is um, just tacky. Um, I'm now quickly going to build up the seam line, and for that I did a standard mix, one part A, one part B of the silicone, and then mixed in a fair amount of aerosol. Um, so um, this mix is now um, really um, thixotropic. So I can now just build up the seam quite quickly.
Okay, all the silicone work is done on this. I've applied probably about 11 and a half kilograms of um, brush on 40. Um, it's now one o'clock in the morning and um, I can feel that it's been an 18 hour day. Um, this has got a set for 18 hour, 16 hours. Um, so um, tomorrow morning I can take things a little bit easier. Um, I'll clean up my workshop, it's a total disaster zone, um, and then prepare for the fiberglass work. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, uh, please remember to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video. Good night.